<laughs> okay. I was okay. like, there's one coach for this game. Who is it? Ah. Yep, there he is. Yeah. To be fair. I was gonna say, I, I was I was like, I thought that I thought that um the first guess was really solid. To be fair, yeah, it was a, it was a good first guess. To be fair, he probably does know more about that game than like anybody else at this yeah, point. Yeah, I True. would not be surprised. All right, man. Coming up here, we got Bran against Dargan. Dargan the Yoshi going against Bowser Jr. Character we've seen find some success here. Yoda Cage, if you haven't heard of him. Oh my Amazing goodness. Bowser Jr. player. Glitch was such a treat. Yep. Thank you, Yoda Cage. Yeah, Yoda <laughs> Cage rules, man. But we've seen Ultimate is truly a game where you can make pretty much any character work up to a certain, you know, any character can work up to a certain point in bracket, but it, what we're seeing is that characters can go the distance more than we might have thought. Absolutely. Um, very balanced game, although there's clearly a tiered list, but still very, very balanced game. Yeah. And we're seeing uh, some characters that are a little underrepresented, but definitely have the chops to go at it. Mm -hmm. I mean, unfortunately right now for Dargan on the losing side of Ooh, things, the double leg. great conversion. Yoshi does have some kill power. Yoshi's got, yeah, Yoshi's, Yoki. Yoshi's, Yoki, hey, boo-boo. <laughs> that's the new, that's, <laughs> that's the, the new that's character. Cartoon, that's, that's the Cartoon LT. Network fighting cape. <laughs> hey, boo-boo. Whoa, you're leaking that already? You Come got on, the man. picnic basket, but uh, no, he's not. Yoshi does have good damage output and kill power. And look, living to 172, pretty heavy as well. And just really evasive on these recoveries. Um, I don't know why uh, Dargan waited until they hit last stock to start doing this, but yep, really good stuff in terms of avoiding oh, the killing God. blows. Oh, this could be big. Drop down with Nair. Oh, you missed oh, it. The, oh, the Becca Koopa blew him up all the way down there. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's Almost crazy. Up air. I don't think it would have taken the stock, but it definitely would have set up Gran for really compromising position. Yep. Brand trying to make his way back. Good nice. job knowing he wasn't going to get fair there. I love when players do that. They're so confident in the spacing. They don't press a button. They don't get scared. But the Nair covered it anyway. That was a really good job uh, from Darkin going all the way out there and contesting Bowser Jr. Smart. That's how you get, it's one of the places you can beat him on the map for sure. Yeah, and just saving your resources and less has to be used. Oh, that shield really, really small right there. Making it back pretty easy. And I mean, yeah, Darkin's taking... Little hits here and there, but nothing too crazy when uh, Dargan's off stage. And I'm a little surprised that Bran isn't challenging Dargan more off stage. Forward air to Bran with the pressure. Nice. Again, just in a situation where you don't oh, press any buttons. Yeah. Yeah, the beautiful. Abandoned, abandoned ship. Get out of there, man. It's, it's such a difficult move to avoid when you're getting off the ledge. Because it punishes neutral get up so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's active for sure. You gotta be, you gotta be scared of it. And then, like it drops and it has like a timer. It's kind of like Samus's warp bombs, but like bigger. You know what I mean? Like more, more impactful for sure. But Samus can combo obviously too. So, interesting. Like kind of same mechanic. Explosions at the ledge. Good. Who knew? All right. Good tool. Good tool. Mhm. Mm Mega yeah. Koopa. Oh my We're God. Doing, doing with it. It's coming nice, down. Nice patience by Dargan. That's the way to deal with it. Is just wait, see, move around it, and then then close the gap when you can. Players get too antsy in, in those situations. They do a predictable move, and that's what Bowser Juniors are going to crush you for sure. Oh God. Speaking Forward of predictable out. moves. Yeah. Oh. Going to do it. Yoshi's do like the jump from the ledge. Really abuse that drift that they have, and Brand was there to punish it accordingly. Yeah. That was nice. Good setup right there from the Morin. Also, that um, says that Brand's very familiar with this character because uh, mo that's not you don't forward smash there unless you're going for the punish on that jump because you were too yep. far to punish a roll. Right. And Bowser for Bowser Junior forward smash is just such a good honestly it's such a good smash. Oh, it's fantastic. It's, it's wild, yeah. It's, it's a little crazy. Good. So is that jab. How do you have a rapid jab that kills? Do you know how know. that doesn't make any sense? I know. It, it's weird because they started, like, that was a buff they gave to Bayonetta, too. Like, so it's like an active choice. It's funny because rapid jabs went from, like, some of the worst moves in the game in, like, 64 in Melee. Like, you just don't use them. Like, it's actually bad. Like, Falcon, you want a gentleman every time. You don't want to do the rapid jab. So in this game, them being really strong, especially at the ledge when you can rack up extra damage, even get a kill. Characters like Bowser Jr. especially, but Bayonetta, too, and I'll do that stuff. It's, it's kind of wild. It's like you did 20% off of a move that was less than five frames. Yeah, no extra buttons. Just quick 20. Give it to me. Nice. Good air dodge there. Yeah. Though. Good adjustment oh, by Dargan. Oh, are you still making it back? Yeah, you are. Okay. Dargan's, Yoshi drift too good. I got to say, Dargan makes some good adjustments quickly on, on the timing of being in disadvantage, like, which is really, really important to do. Not enough people do that. They try to mix up the option that they're doing, but not the timing. So it's nice. And as Yoshi, like, you're going to lose socks pretty quickly if you don't do that, to be fair. So it's either adapt or die in that situation. Well, I mean, chose to adapt. This is the only dinosaur still alive. Well, I guess Bowser's here too. Okay. I care. And I mean, I think it's so important for Dargan to actually seal out the first stock because Bran has shown that oh, it's still. Yeah. I'd say Morton is gone too. We got the Bowser Jr. 
Um, but now Dargan can kind of play a slightly different game. Doesn't have to keep bringing in the brand, but right now wanting to bring the fight to brand instead. If I'm Dargan, I like seeing that forward smash. It says, hey, I really need to get a kill. I'm feeling the pressure. I'm just going to keep it up right now. Pressure at the ledge again, going over the side, though. Good mix up by Brand, holding onto the stock. Logic, this is good counterplay right here. Yeah. Dargan looking clean. And I don't even think it's the stage, really. I think it's just the adjustments that you touched on earlier, Hazmat. Mm -hmm. Dargan adjusts really quickly when it comes to timings on the ledge, but it's mm -hmm. clearly adjusting with playstyles as well. Yeah, on the offense and defense. We saw him go off stage successfully this time. Uh, Bowser Jr., when he's out of the cart, if you barely hit him, it can usually be enough to get the kill. Unable to find the conversion off the Mecha Koopa, though. There you go. Up there. Oh, my God. Yoshi live and 163. Wild stuff. Still alive. Like, even the next one didn't take it. I mean, yeah, it's a little wow. stale, but finally. Side B going to take it. Yeah. Yeah, spin out, spin out enough to do it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Yoshi living at almost 200 there, though. He can do that. He definitely has the capability to do that. But you can't really afford that when you're losing your socks up 150. Mm -hmm. So really trying to find a mark. Brand just Brand stayed off stage for so long. Yeah. That was so well played. Stalling it out. He didn't like any path that he saw back to the stage. Took his time. Able to live for a little longer, but ultimately losing his stock there. Anyway. And, uh, I mean, Brand's starting to come alive a little bit again. This could be huge if you get that edge guard. Oh, goes for a sports match. Unfortunately, the egg interrupts. I thought we were going to see a punish on the air dot because Dark was in a situation where he had to do it. Absolutely. Here we go. The forward smash that is going to take the stock, bring us down to a last stock situation. Very nice job. Brand definitely not out of it yet. Now he's got the momentum, in my opinion, Logic. He's playing well. Down airs are coming through. The pressure's good. That Yoshi double jump, though. So the armor on it is just ridiculous for getting out, bailing him out of bad situations. But if it gets hard red and footstool, Yoshi can just might be in the dirt, you know? Oh, God, Brand is really racking it up now. The yeah, explosion? It was looking like Dargan's kind of game to win, but now it's his game to lose as he's traveled by oh so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, that up tilt around the nair with such good spacing right underneath it. Up smash it. Oh, my God, trying to get strong forward smash. I would like to see a smaller punish to toss off stage. That's where yeah. Dargan's winning. Went for even that forward smash, even with a little charge, I don't think it was going to kill Bowser Jr. from coast to coast in the cart. Here we go. They are scrapping now. Yeah, yeah, they're both swinging, trying to cover that space around each other. They're threatening. Oh, God, yeah, he went through the platform every time, by the way. That's like the third or fourth time in a row he's gone through the platform. Because if need a spot dodge or a roll away into a floor smash, could work for Brand. Mm -hmm. There we go. Press oh, yeah, and I think yeah. uh, Brand was looking for it. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Are we going to see floor smash? We're going to see something. Oh, he re-grabbed the Mecha Koopa. I like that. Interacting with the egg, though. Good. Again, Darkin with a good sense of game sense there to not do anything too crazy. Falling up there. That was full commitment to the shield. We talked about how good command grabs in the air can be. Neutral B would have been nice in that situation, but it's all right. Looking for the kill instead. No Brad. surprise we're not seeing. Oh, the down smash. Yep, that did connect. I think he tried to interrupt it there, but instead the down smash already out too much. A trade that Dargan will certainly take. Very nice. Tying it up 1-1 one, one logic. We got a game three. It was definitely a fight at the end. Loving the adjustments from both players. Most notably Dargan, though. Just kind of the recoveries got better and the damage output got better. I mean, yes, almost let that game come up, pretty much slip out of his grasp, but at the end of the day, cleaned it up, brought it to a game three, and uh, that's what I said, dude. Yeah, it's a trade, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the curse kill screens, where is that? Where is that Twitter? That is definitely one right there for the ages. Down air, oh my god, already right, Dargan's starting off strong, 27% very quickly, under like two seconds, dude. Yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi just does so much damage, no one oh. talks about it. Yeah. Oh, good back air as well. There's no jump. He's hard to kill. He does good damage. But, I mean, obviously, there are some things that keep him. His range kind of leaves something yeah. to be desired. His zoning isn't incredible. This right the matchup. Yoshi a lot. Exactly, exactly. Swords just kind of destroy him. But here we go. Trying to just kind of navigate this obstacle course. And Brand's making it so difficult. Even with the drift and the super armor on the double jump of Yoshi, Ooh. still not that easy to get by. Back air, too. Again. I gotta say, Darkin's spacing around Nair is really, really good. I think Brand's gotta be careful with that button. Crowd coming to that life for that up smash. That was such a good that was punish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like that conversion, I don't. You normally don't see Yoshi get that particular conversion. <laughs> I love Yoshi because he picks up the Mecha Koopa and throws it and goes, wow. <laughs> just I've never about seen that. this like, story dude, before. Yeah, wow. He <laughs> <laughs> just throws it at you. Like, dude, that's an explosive. Take it easy, Yoshi. Take it easy.
Yeah, Yoshi has these eggs. Whatever, you know. Yeah, tossing them. Scrambling his lineage, you know. It is what it is. Really unorthodox air dodge there, but it worked out for getting uh, Dark into safety. Yeah. All right. Grabs Koopa again. Good jab. Follow up. Not able to get in to get much. Got a lot of shield damage. Stock is gone though. Mm -hmm. I mean, Brand did it. Didn't take too much damage to process. Only 44%, which is not near, not too bad. Mm -hmm. Jab. It's so jab. 16%, which is really nice. Not only that, but I mean, by the time he's ready to get a kill with it, it'll be unstaled. You know what I'm saying? Go, dude. Back air. Pressure over here. Forward air. Okay, okay. Again and again, we're just seeing this pressure from both players. Yeah, it's, it's just, they're keeping it so close. Yeah. I would love to see Brand Edgeguard Darken, though. We're not, we're not seeing it. Oh, into the up B, almost killing. Oh my god, Darken living by the skin of his teeth right there. Hold on, up air? Oh god. Ah! So close. The eggs man off top. Spin out, not taking it. Gonna apply some pressure. And almost every time Darken goes off stage, Brand just kind of stops back. Or backs up, throws a Koopa, and just really doesn't want to take any big risk. Oh, what? The duck? Do you see that? Exploded again? Did that save? Dargan? Dude? Either way, he took extra yeah. damage from it. 170. Dargan living. There Whoa. it is! The one, two, the explosion. Nice. Mecha Koopa finishing up the job. Bram with the stock lead here. Game three, Logic. It's uh, coming down to the wire. Dargan has so much work to do because. Brand traditionally is not dying quite yet. Still has some life left. Mm -hmm. I like how he's not going over the edge. You see Dargan spacing to punish Whoa. the off, off stage okay, again. The nair, that close yeah. to the blast zone. Last stock. Both players. Both of them. Backs against the wall here. What's going to happen? Oh, my God. That could have been an air. No double jump. But it could have been the game, honestly. All right, well, we're still seeing some big time damage come in. Up to strings into the up air. Yep. And just Brand really content with the, hey, I'm not fighting without Mecha Koopa. Yeah. And surprisingly, Dark is not using nearly as many eggs as we saw earlier. Not that up smash again, whiffing. I feel like I haven't really seen it connect too much. Brand's still going to it, though. Feeling confident, Logic. Trying to find some damage here. This is one of those situations where we're swinging at each other again, just covering a lot of empty space. Looking for the up smash, trying to catch him getting nervous. Brand said, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm out. Dark can afford to take risks, even though I don't know if I'd want to do it if I was you. Yeah. Oh, oh he went the, over it. Do you see that? He's got the, the hops. Ooh. I didn't know you had that in you, Yoshi. Mm -hmm. That was a juke. That was like a spin dash, dude. Oh, God, he sweet spot the ledge. That's so stressful to go for in that situation because if you don't do it right, you're going to get the down smash or SD. Oh, what if, dude? Oh, back air? Th is that enough? Yeah, oh, my God. Very nice set there. Bran, wow, in a nail biter. Last hit, game three situation. Bowser Jr. prevailing. Goodness. Oh, my God, dude. He hit the, he hit the, it's like a speed running strat, like the Mecha Koopa boost, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Flew right at your opponent and tried to get it. It would have been so sick if he connected off of that. It's too bad. Very nice, though. Oh, I'm coming over. Yeah, it would have been clean. I, I, don't know what you I don't know what you would have connected with. Back air. That was really nice moving with this. Dude, that back air is so strong. Yeah, it is. It's I mean, so that was strong. just. And I think, honestly, I mean, there was really good counterplay on both sides of the matchup. I think we saw uh, how Yoshi dealt with Bowser Jr.'s Nair specifically. Like, that's not an easy move to, to really deal with. But Yoshi attacking it from underneath, that's the way to do it. So, yeah. so a lot of good counterplay throughout that entire set. That was probably our best set so far this block, honestly. It was really competitive. It was a lot of fun. Unconventional, unconventional-ish characters. Yeah. Again, I think Bowser Jr. is picking up popular. Uh, a little bit. And Yoshi's always kind of floats around that mid-level yeah, popularity. I don't understand Yoshi because Yoshi's like good but not good. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. I think when you see a good one, you're just like, well, this this is why more people play it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Hey, you want to scooch him in? I feel like I'm hogging the spotlight. I here. 